Ladies and gentlemen, our in-house modern Yoshi's been at it again, this time using kinetic lighting to make his PC look even niftier. You call this the Lumen PC. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, originally I was inspired. I saw I saw this um, article on uh -huh. BitTech by Linear where he, he took one of those little plasma globes and put it in the front, and I was like, I don't know why I didn't think of it or everyone is. Right. It's, it's like I, the one with the coffee machine in the yeah, front. Yeah, you know, cologne. it's like I've had those things forever. I love uh -huh. those, and I'm like, okay, I got to do a variation of that. So I started searching around, and I was looking for what it, what 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 exact. Um, type of Options globe I wanted to use, of. and I stumbled across Stratman Designs. Stratman, I think we killed their yeah, website. Yeah, we did kill the their website. I checked it right before the segment, and it was uh, bandwidth limit exceeded. And what does Stratman Designs um, do? Basically, well, they make plasma globes. They also make this Luma glass, which is this, this wonderful stuff you, you can see in the demonstrations here. They have uh, coffee tables, bar tables, mm -hmm. window panels. I mean, any kind of shape you want, they can make it out of. And they also yeah. have, like, you know, little pre-made ones. You know, it's... It, it's a similar type of stuff there. So you is know? this a custom-made panel? In the, yeah, in the I, had, I had them custom make these because I wanted to do I wanted to do the whole case originally, mm -hmm. and they were like, "You must be out of your mind. That'll cost a fortune." Really? Well, I want—I mean, one piece. I wanted the whole thing. One. Okay. <laughs> so instead of actually having, so you've actually got. We should talk about how you came up with the design. So you picked a size for the panels. Yeah, I picked the size for the panels. I went for the, pretty much a standard. Uh, orientation on the computers and uh, then I decided I was going to put the power supply underneath so I could kind of boost mm -hmm. everything else up a little bit taller. Um, once I went from there I just designed my chassis and oh, we're looking at a different shot here. Yeah. Um, got the chassis designed and then once the chassis was designed then I knew what the dimensions I'd be looking at for all, all the different panels and um, started trying to figure out my calculations there which mm -hmm. Now, I had to start over a couple times. Me okay, measuring. <laughs> we actually, we should show all of the parts. We got some pretty cool. There's a lot of parts inside of this system. Yeah, there's lots of parts inside and there here. There was a lot of measuring of all panels. these parts. Fifteen panels. Fifteen panels. Fifteen panels. Because you think I mean, each panel mm -hmm. is three three layers. So mm -hmm. there's a clear layer, then there's a spacer that the uh, glass yeah. sits inside of, and then the top uh, framing panel. Got it. So I had to take into account all the, uh, count all the uh, material thicknesses that kind of. Thing. Yeah, and actually, there you can see it down there. So basically, yeah. how many? So the 15 pieces total. 15 pieces of, of plexi, and then about 20 pieces of aluminum. And you assemble it around. The, so the aluminum armature, then a layer of plastic, then the screen, then another layer of plastic. Yeah, I wanted to make sure it was really well insulated because you know it's it's running a lot of voltage here, and I don't want this getting back to my computer. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> yeah. No, that would be a yeah, very good. How long I, do you think it'd take time-wise to put it together? Um, I'm not quite finished yet, honestly. Um, I've put about 60 hours into it so far. Um, I'd say it's got about another 40. Wow. <laughs> People in the back are like, dude, do you sleep? Um, What's no, coming next? Not much. Uh, well, next I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a lot of neon lighting. If you can see in here, I'm going to put some, uh, look, look on from the side, actually. Yeah. So, um, there yeah. we go. See how it makes the, the beads glow a little red with the neon lighting behind mm -hmm. it. So I'm going to get some nice even lighting inside there. And the biggest thing is going to be I don't want to see a single wire inside the case. Wow. So all the wiring is going to have to run inside the channeling. That's going to be a lot of wiring. Yeah. Everything That's going to be, be a lot of really long cables. Everything's going to be soldered in place. There's going to be no connectors used. So instructions up on the website? Instructions are on the web. It's, it's more of an article of uh, kind of my process than an step-by-step -step instructions. Measure twice, cut once to learn Measure from four times. Mod. Four <laughs> times? How many times did you have to recut the parts? Um, I had to remake the chassis once completely because it was just when way off. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, it, it's going to be done very soon. Our, our, our producer was asking, when is this going to yeah, be this done? Is, it's, uh, it's, it's on my <laughs> highest priority status here. <laughs> oh, boy. Still to come, we'll tap into your mind as we read some of the emails that have been coming into the show today. In the meantime, check out Yoshi's Mod and the progress up on the website. And after the break.